hi guys welcome to my channel and in today's video we're going to be making a phone advertising poster for social media so stick around and let's go okay so guys welcome to the month of february today is february 5th 2022 saturday and we'll just be looking at a project that i kind of had last month to create um, some phone marketing posters for a company so i would just love to take you guys through it and i'm really sure it's going to help you in your upcoming project so let's go into photoshop all right so guys this is what we're going to be creating today right in photoshop so let's go to our new file so my document size is 1080 by 1080 pixels right for instagram and other social media so first off i really love to create a guide system first to help me structure my work so just go to view new guide layout then select the structure you want so i'm using three rows by three columns and imagine size of 30. so just do what fits your project best so next up i'm going to create a solid color layer right you can find that at the bottom right of your screen and the hex code for the blue is 151732 so just to give me that nice dark blue shade then next up we're going to be creating the pattern so just create a new layer go to your curvature point tool and just create a simple curve like so all right so i'm just going to change the color to give it um, a nice contrasting blue from the background and the um, RGB code for that is 018255 so that's giving me that nice neon blue color and I'm just going to duplicate it so first of all I just drag it to the position to the top you press ctrl or command j to duplicate the layer and you just keep on doing that and adjusting it down like so so you can select each of them three of them and duplicate it again and just keep on doing that don't worry it looks kind of um, rough but we are going to space everything evenly that will make it look nice okay so next up as you can see everything is properly spaced so select all the pen um, drawings and then from your align bar just distribute it equally horizontally so that's going to give you the equal space like you can see there and everything looks nice and just creating this nice background for and this nice pattern for the background so next off just keep things neat i grouped everything as one layer and you can just give it any name you want it's essential for you to be a tidy designer i'm sure all of you do this next off i'm going to create um, the gradient for the background so i already had a save template that i'm using but just go to gradients and just set your bar to just give it this kind of vignette kind of look but i'm still going to adjust it a little yeah you can see just to make the edges darker and the center kind of bright so this is just more of your own perspective you can just do what suits you so next up i'm just dragging in my logo so use um, your logo like so and after the logo comes uh, the text for me but first off i just have to adjust it properly and you can see the margin just help to add padding so the logo is not too close to the edges and i'm using the bottom top to bottom approach i like to design from the top then going down so next i add the text don't miss out on the best iphone deals ever so i just uh, a phone poster and um, I just want the um, best iPhone deals ever text to be bold, right? So it can stand out. And I'm going to use the brand colors of green. So you can use um, red 173, green 230, and blue 99. Those are the RGB codes. 
so next off i'll just begin to put everything in order making sure it's properly aligned like so and i'll just group them so they can work together as a unit okay so everything is looking nice and neat and the patterns was looking kind of um, too vivid so i just reduced the opacity a bit you can see it's slightly lighter now and blends in better with the background okay so next up i'm going to be adding my phone image um, the design was for the iphone 12 so um, you can add your image or use this i added this in the description below and you can see your grids are just going to help you to position it properly just right in the center of the image and since it's one of the major things in the design i'll just make it big so next off i'm going to be adding the label um, so i created a new layer i just zoomed in to draw my rectangle shape Okay, so the rectangle looking great and I'll be adding my text iPhone 12 so I'll just change the color to white so you can stand out from the background all right then just position that properly mm -hmm. okay oh sorry about that next off I'll just drag it into position and group it Yeah, so just take your time to make sure it's properly aligned then you can hold alt or option on your keyboard and drag on the click and drag on the first rectangle to just duplicate it then resize it so we can put in the prices and i'll just fill that in with white so change your rectangle color to white and um Next off, I'm going to be adding the text. So 64 gig, the price, same as 128 gig. So just take your time to put in this and um, I'll just speed things up. Also take note if your text is kind of jammed or you have to just adjust the leading. So that's what I'm just going to do to increase the distance and um, we're good to go with the adjustments. Okay guys, so I decided to actually um, tilt the rectangles so you can do that by right clicking on them clicking on this dot then just dragging to the right so that's going to kind of tilt it like so i also change the uh, there from 12 color to a dark one so just do uh, what fits your project best i also decided to tilt the label like you can see just to give it that more interesting look right so i just grouped everything and positioned it next off i'll be adding the icon so i put all these in the description so make sure you get them next to draw your squares you can just hold shift and with the shape tool just drag your square over and just resize like so so duplicate them by holding alt or option and dragging on them to place them behind the icons and you can see just trying to make everything nice and tidy this is actually an important part of the project because all your um, documents or rather all your elements need to be properly aligned so ensure you group each of them like i'm doing for instagram for wi-fi and for whatsapp then just distribute them equally vertically so everything is properly aligned okay so next up i'm using my brush tool like you can see make sure your hardness is set on zero right then just tap once create a new layer and tap once then just resize it behind and show it behind the iphone icon or iphone image 
So you're just creating this kind of bright um, image like you can see, this bright brightening effect from the center. So I'm just adjusting it to make sure it's fine. And you can just see the nice effect it creates behind the iPhone. So just um, take your time to do this. And right now I'm just um, trying to resize. You can see I took the day up just to make the text more balanced. And I'm just trying to make sure everything is nice and well shaped. So just make all necessary adjustments. Use your grid to ensure that everything looks balanced. And right now you can just see I'm using the pen tool or the curvature point tool. I'm just trying to create this kind of glossy effect. So after you draw it, just reduce the pace to like maybe 10 or 20. And you can just see the nice effect on the entire design. And voila, we have a poster. Alright, so guys, that's the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys gained something. And I'm definitely sure it's going to help you on your upcoming branding projects. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Imano Akwan. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, make a comment um, on what you learned, and don't forget, stay great.